I, I would hope that we're thinking about them so that, not only so that we don't forget them, but so that we're inspired to raise, to raise people like them. To raise people with, 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 with those, uh, with those dreams. With the dreams, right, of, of wanting to, to do good for the world. I don't know, maybe. Look at that little boat back in the distance over there. But I love that. You know, whatever that is, I don't, I don't know what, what it's going to look like having a goal that size. I don't know what that entails. I, I know it's not going to be easy. That's definitely not an easy goal. You know. People ask me, what do you want to do? I'm like, I want to impact the world. I want to be good. I want to do something good. Honestly, I don't even have an idea of what what it takes. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of work. And I'm sure I'm not going to be able to do it alone. I'm sure of that. As the as the famous African proverb says, if you want to go if you want to go fast, go alone. You know, if you want to go far, you have to go with more people. You have to go with, with, with others, right? Go together. And so all those are very lofty goals of changing the world and they, they need they need uh, they need a lot of fuel. Like it's like trying to take a, you know, like Elon Musk over there is trying to take people to Mars. He's gonna need a lot of fuel, not just in cash, but a lot of fuel. A lot of people have to believe in it. A lot of people have to have to be on that, have to drink that that Kool Aid. Just like the Wright brothers, right? You need a lot of fuel. Just like Edison. Or Henry Ford, or you know, Mr. Carnegie, or whatever his name was, the Steel Titan. There's a lot of fuel that is needed in order to impact the impact the world. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. trying to do my best here I really am trying to do my best and I think good, good things happen when you try to do your best Just trying to do my best here with my little burrito going up and down on Facebook and Instagram live. Just trying to do my best here with my little burrito going up and down on Instagram live. Yeah, Instagram live. <laughs> this, is, this is how I entertain myself. Some people are like, you're entertaining already. Just don't, You don't have to talk, just paint. I'm like you don't understand. I'm not. I'm not trying to entertain you. I'm trying to entertain myself. <laughs> Wait, I have to put long hours here. Daniel. You're gonna take him to drums again?
Look at that. Mucho Tardion, Mucho Francois. Hey, Dan. Dude, chill. I have my whole family here in my studio. It's a blessing in disguise. It's a disguise because sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, let me paint. And then when they're not here, I miss them. I'm like, where are you at? Guys, are you going to come and visit me in my studio? Look at this. Oh, mucho bueno. Mucho bueno, Francois. When you paint, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but when, I, when I've done it, I'm very tempted in uh, trying to rush. I'm always tempted uh, on like start thinking about all my problems and and going to like into like panic mode like oh my god I gotta do this oh my god I gotta do that oh my god 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 I don't know if this happens to you guys but this shit happens to me uh, it doesn't happen to be as often as it used to um, but uh, I, I started to learn how to control it. And I, I wanted to do a I wanted to do a little uh, video on that, and and see if I could help someone else who goes through that when they're painting when they're creating artwork. Like if you get, if you get this anxiety that you don't that you know you need to be there but you don't want to be there because you have all these other things, and then you hate yourself for not being there because you know you have to paint because it's something important to you, and so it's like this almost like a self sabotage thing that happens do yeah, I do paint with lots of noise in the background well the noise in the background that's because I'm in a working studio the noise in the background is my son in his in his room it's an office that I turn into his cool room and and he plays uh he plays Xbox there with his friends and he does his homework there and he chills there when uh, when he's here I know, I, I wasn't. I, I was going to say that. And then the other noise that you hear is uh, my assistants and my wife packaging paintings and taking care of orders. And that noise that you hear, that one, that's tape. They're stealing paintings that are ready to be shipped out. That's what that is. All that noise is music to my ears. It means it, it sounds like prosperity to me. That's what that noise is. Let's see. So, sometimes I have a full studio here, sometimes there's like six, seven people helping, and some other ones just kind of watching, which I hate. I'm going to be honest with you, I hate it when people are just sitting here in my studio watching, because this is a very busy place, and I don't know, if, if you're busy, you don't like people watching, unless I'm doing like a video or something, but... And, and still it's hard. I know that's why a lot of you don't do videos because you need to concentrate. It, it took me a while to learn how to concentrate and talk at the same time so that I could I could be proactive and do videos. Because what a lot of YouTubers do is that they'll paint but they won't talk and then they edit later. That's what a lot of YouTubers do for, for people that paint live. They paint and then they upload in a sped up version their videos or in a silent version. Um, to uh, to the various platforms 
See, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to. I wanted to come out because I don't. I don't have time to edit, and I don't want to go and 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 pay someone to edit for me. And so I'm like, how do I remedy that? Okay, this is something true. So this is something that I actually did come up with. I'm like, I don't have time to edit videos. I fucking hate that because I'm not a YouTuber. I'm an artist. And so I'm not going to spend half of my day editing videos when I could have spent them painting. And so what do I do? And I was like, dude, here's what you can do. Don't edit anything. Have conversations with them as you're painting. And I'm like, dude, I'm a... Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Marcel. See ya. Uh, Monday? Yeah, Monday. Oh, okay. Yeah, take care. Look at that. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Catherine. Boris, thank you. I appreciate that. You would cry if you paint with so much noise. <laughs> well, you know, there's sacrifices. In a perfect world, I, I, I would, I too would paint with, with not all this noise. You forgot your phone? Yeah. Can't go anywhere without your phone. Oh. Come here, come on. Try to go. Okay, I'm on. Uh, quiet now. Aw, no, I love the noise. Hey, Danielito. I love you. Take care, dude. In a perfect world, I would, yeah, of course, but 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 then I, I can't do other stuff, right? which is it, it's always you need you need you need paintings in the car. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a yin and yang, right? There's a, a gain and a loss. If I didn't have my family with me, I'd probably be crying about working for myself one day so that I could get to spend time with my family. And now my family spends time with me all day, right? And I'm like, I'm like, that's awesome. That's what I wanted. Or did I? <laughs> of course, right? Of course I do. But but it comes with it's it's a yin and a yang, baby.